Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Ken Alexander of It's a Fiery World coming to you today for iloveitspicy.com with another review for Red Snapper Sauce. Fine relish for meats, oysters, fish, soups, etc. Um, out of Orem, Utah, but originally from Port Hudson, Louisiana. Now, we've already reviewed their hot. We've got their medium um, that's in another review, but this review is on the Wildwood Arbol. And it's used um, the Arbol chili out of Mexico, which is the tree chili. A little darker, earthier chili. Let me give you back up a little bit and tell you one of the fun things about this sauce. Some of the history. I mentioned it earlier. This sauce was originally marketed and made in Louisiana as a cayenne-based sauce uh, by Harris McFay in the late 1800s and also in Argentina. Harris vanished, not a trace of him, left behind the business, left behind the recipe. His family continued to make for a while until the early 1900s, and then they eventually it wasn't it was no longer profitable. And this is all on their web, website, RedSnapperSauce.com, and you can get some of the flavorful and colorful history of Red Snapper Sauce. The one thing I like that is cool is it's it's based on its original location of Port Hudson, Louisiana, which is about 15 miles north of my home here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And so in Louisiana, it is, met, is known for its cayenne-style sauces. So this is a little different, that it's an arbol sauce. It's a medium heat sauce. Um, and again, it's got a little different flavor profile that I found with their hot or their medium. Now, if you remember the hot review that I gave you, I was not the biggest fan of this sauce. Um, I, I found others, uh, other cayenne-style sauces that I care for more. But this sauce, and I, I can't tell you what all is in it except for what I think, uh, because all their labels are the same. And, and if I was um, the, the uh, descendants of, of Harris, who are making the sauce now out of Orem, Utah, in future runs, in batch runs, you may want to think about kind of differentiating your labels a little bit so that the discerning public who's buying one of the other sauces really kind of sees a little more what they're getting since they're, re they're buying off of a label until they have knowledge of your product. So just a little feedback for you. This is a dark, kind of a medium consistency sauce. The video on their website um, shows a lot of natural products, a lot of products, a lot of peppers that they use in their products, and you can tell. Uh, little flakes of pepper, little flakes of spice. And the thing with this sauce, ladies and gentlemen, is that this Arbol sauce plays off almost like a cocktail sauce. I could swear there's a little horseradish in there, or maybe even a touch of ginger. I'm not sure but it's got a more complex flavor profile than your traditional Louisiana style, and it does play very similar to a cocktail sauce to the extent that it was a home run on shrimp. Um, it was great on baked tilapia. Uh, it was great on grilled fish. It was good on salmon. Uh, not so much on vegetables, nor did I care for their other sauces on vegetables, but it's one man's palate. But as a, as a seafood sauce, maybe in a ceviche, something like that, great sauce. Matter of fact, I think I was on their website and saw a ceviche recipe uh, for one of their sauces, and I might go back and give that a try if I've got enough of this left. So, uh, good label. Uh, I mentioned that in the other review. It's got a nice retro look. They had somebody design it based off of their original labeling from the late 1800s. I think very smart uh, that it's consistent here, uh, differentiates at the top, very easy to discern on a store shelf. And the flavor profile is good. The heat um, plays uh, as a medium heat. I mean, they do a good job layering their heat levels with their sauces. A medium heat, I'm finding, is, is a medium. It's a low, very low medium for me, which is going to translate to a medium to a high, uh, a medium to high medium heat for the average person buying this off the shelf. So there you have it. This is a three and a half flame and hard sauce for me. That's a good sauce. Uh, it's a solid sauce. Great seafood sauce. So go get you some. RedSnapperSauce.com out of Orem, Utah. Very competitively priced. New company. Just really got rolling last year in 13. So go give them a try. All right. And this is Ken Alexander coming to you for iloveitspicy.com. We're always remembered, ladies and gentlemen, it's a fiery world. Have a great day.